Hi there, and welcome to the Gap Year Association's instructional on how to use our accreditation application tool online. Uh, it's noted that this is only available for program providers uh, applying for accreditation. We do not have it online uh, set up yet for, con for consultants. Um, so just a heads up there. Uh, all right, so the member application um, um, for accreditation, there's two simple places that you can uh, apply to join um, um, or log in, sorry, for the Gap Year Association. One is up here, the member login, um, in the upper right of the screen, the blue one, that's to take you to Mighty Networks. Um, that would be for if you want to uh, manage your account um, um, or stay in touch with any networking activities that are going on within the community. Um, for an organization that's wanting to actually go through the program um, accreditation application, you're going to go down here to Program Dashboard Login. Um, the Dashboard Login is also coincidentally where you would uh, um, set yourself up for um, 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 for your, it'll show you in a moment, um, uh, your public profile page. So if you want to manage any of the public facing elements of your profile on the Gap Year Association website, that's where you would do it. Now to get to the accreditation application, um, just click on accreditation. There's some hints and some FAQs there. Um, and you're just gonna go to click here to open GYA's online application tool for programs. Super simple, I love that. Um, now this system was set up um, proprietarily um, and it's really wanting to make sure that I'm securely logged in. So. Um, it goes through a whole other checksum at the end there um, because all of the data that's submitted here um, goes into an overall um, program uh, management um, um, account for us. Uh, let's see, this is doing this only because I'm an administrator. Um, so if I click it again, it'll just show me the application. You won't have to see that, but um, just so that you know. Um, and so the way that this works uh, um, is you go through and you just update. So I'm going to toggle off all of these standards, click update. It'll ask me, are you sure you really want to do that? Because that's going to purge all of the matching that you've done and watch all of a sudden, all of these standards will go away. Um, and just like that, there are none. I can delete evidence. Let's get rid of that. And um, let's go through and uh, I'm going to... Um, highlight the, the, the text here. Um, actually, let's get out of that one. Um, showcase the uh, file here. And I'm going to um, leave that as is. So let's say uh, philosophy and professional ethics. Um, you just toggle all of the ones that you that your organization is required to, to, to go through these. Um, all of that information is, is located in the, uh, the engagement letter that's available on the standards website webpage of the GYA website. Um, for now, just to highlight philosophy and professional ethics, since every organization has to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click update, and it's going to pre-populate all of the standards that are in alignment with philosophy and professional ethics. Um, now, it's worth saying that that uh, uh, um, you can add or subtract to these. So if at some point you want to add service learning because you find out after the fact, oh, no, it makes sense for us to do that, or partnerships, independent placements, any of these um, backcountry developing countries two hours away from um, um, definitive medical care, um, thinking of like an appendectomy. Um, so this for, for instructional purposes, um, the way that the system is designed is recognizing that most of the materials that are gonna showcase this as evidence for completing standards are going to be in one or two handbooks, right? Your handbook for staff or for your student welcome on board materials or a website or web page. And so um, um, what we're doing here is I'm going to go through and just match this standard. So I'm just going to say, yes, the standard is matched in the book of hands rather than the handbook. And you'll notice that the, the, the thing goes from green to gray, because now that there's a standard in there, it's going to ask me to, to identify what page number that standard is found on. So if I click on 15, um, this will now switch from gray to green. Um, you also have the option to just call some an exception. I just don't think that that one's relevant to us. now. True, as any exception should be, it's gray and it's going to ask you to explain. Give me, like, is it a web page? Is there some text of an explanation um, um, in order to, to uh, showcase that it's been actually done? Um, and then once this is all complete, all of these have been sort of all of the standards have been matched. And then at the bottom, um, you've completed these materials as well. That means just uploaded it to the system um, and then finish these information. Once all of these documents are gray to green, um, this submit application button shows as available. Um, and then you kick it off into the whole process. Um, for any further details on the application materials um, systems process, just go to the engagement letter on the standards webpage. All right, thanks.